Welcome back, everyone. This is Journalist Hangout on Sunday, and I have been hanging out with Asuko James, Emeka Madunago, and Babajide Kolade Otitoju. Gentlemen, thank you so much for staying with us. Now, let's go to Kaduna State, uh, northwest Nigeria, which is turning a new leaf, and the governor, Ubasani, is getting commendations for it. An elder statesman and former governor of River State, retired General Zamani Lethwaters, applauded Governor Sani for his commendable efforts to unite the state since coming on board six months ago. Speaking on behalf of those who received awards during the Maiden Southern Kaduna Festival, Lethwaters commended the governor's leadership qualities, adding that he has gladdened the hearts of the people. Mikhail, let me allow you to kick, uh, kick off with this. Uh, Governor Ubasari was also commended for attending the Christmas carol where he promised an all-inclusive uh, government. My question is, how important or exemplary is leadership beyond party affiliations, devoid of ethnic and tribal sentiments in a place like Kaduna State? Uh, it's very, very significant. I've not seen a state as divided along religious lines as Kaduna State. And I worked in Kaduna State. I actually started my journalism career in Kaduna State. The feeling that people have over the years is, look, anything after the bridge is like the Kaduna, the bridge over Kaduna River is the natural um, boundary between Christians and Muslims in the state. Most Muslims will prefer to uh, get a residence in that, in the um, area dominated by Muslims. That's from that bridge, going back towards the market area, to do uh, all of those places. Whereas after the bridge, you have places like uh, um, Kakuri, uh, Television, and all those other places where the Christians don't So yeah. the Christians like to live in one part of town. The Muslims like to live in another part of town, just like Lebanon. I've never seen anything like that. And the Christians have always felt that over the years that they were marginalized. The decision to do the Muslim Muslim uh, ticket by Erufai while seeking a second term was something that got the Muslims, I mean the Christians, very angry. Although Erufai justified it by uh, arguing that they would never be adapted. Christian dominated Southern Kaduna always voted for the uh, PDP. Now, no matter who they chose, even if they put a Pope on the ballot, they would still vote for the PDP. That was his own justification. But you know, religion is an emotive issue. You cannot bring that kind of justification, you know, at a time like this. People's blood will boil. Now, for Obasani to take that step of attending the Christmas carol and even promising the people that look, future Christmas carol, I will even allow you to hold it inside the government house, is the sort of thing that they were not expecting. So they see Obasani as a fresh breath of hair as someone prepared to give the Christians a sense of belonging in the state, prepared to give the people of Southern Kaduna uh, a new lease of life. So, so they are happy. And General Blackport is somebody who has sacrificed for the people. He was one of those sentenced to death over the 1992 uh, Zongo Kataf crisis between the House of Lani and the uh, uh, Zongo Kata people was one of those sentenced to death. Although the military government of uh, Babagida eventually didn't carry out uh, the sentence himself and uh, Peter Lekwart and others. The Southern Kaduna people saw that as an, as a, 
uh, an attempt to humiliate them as a people. So the place of the man in left court in their history is a great one, it's a tremendous one. For him to come out and praise Governor Obasani, it shows clearly the thinking of the ordinary Southern Kaduna people. When the appeal courts sacked the Speaker of the State House of Assembly, many people believe that Obasane and others were sure that another Muslim became uh, the Speaker. But the governor encouraged a situation that produced a Speaker out of the deputy to the man who was sacked by the courts. And today, they have a Christian uh, as their speaker. If the if a Muslim had the might, they would have been disconsolate, they would have felt very bad. So, Ubasane, uh, and, and he has also taken st some steps. Some of the appointments that he has made also points to the fact that he's trying to break free from the past, that he's trying to run a government that is for everyone. So, this is why you saw the chairman of Khan in Kaduna State on journalist hangout, praising the governor and saying that, look, our people now see him as a father, as someone who is not prepared to continue with the marginalization of the Thank uh, you. Uh, kindly hold no. on. Uh, uh, kindly hold on for a minute. Uh, well, joining live, uh, a live broadcast of a banquet by FCT Minister in Port Accord. But uh, JH continues on our other platforms. All right, Bikil, you can go on. Yes. So the the chairman of Khan in Kaduna State, for him to have come out on journalist anger to say, look, gentlemen, this governor is trying to do things differently. He's trying to break from the past, and our people are happy with his conduct so far. Mm -hmm. That should tell you that the attitude of the people of the uh, uh, Southern Kaduna is changing and right. Ubasane will ultimately reap bountifully and politically from this because the people had over the years felt like second rate people, felt like people marginalized in their state, but they are seeing a new uh, lease of life in terms of the, uh, some of the appointments that the governor has made, in terms of the hand of fellowship that the governor has uh, extended to them. So, for a man like Zamani Lekwot, you know, one of uh, the very famous leaders of uh, Saturn Kaduna to come out and speak in this manner. He says a lot about the way the average Saturn Kaduna people All right, Mikhail. perceive this new administration. All right. Uh, as a quad now, some of the elders in that state have also commended him for his open door policy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> because if you look at it, um, even when the, uh, the election came here and people are saying it's Muslim, Muslim again, just like El Rufai. It was um, a very tough battle for him. And you are thinking um, the Southern Kaduna people will be you know, marginalized. But if, so far, his appointment have, have not shown that, you know, that it's going to be just one, either one ethnic group or one religious um, you know, group. He has been able to open up the space and make sure that all freight nerves, you know, have been, have been handled. Um, just like a BQ, Kaduna is a very fluid state that anything can happen. So for, for commendations to come to the governor in this like manner, not just from anybody, but the man in Lekwa that when I was very young, I used to hear about him, <laughs> you know, you know to, to come from somebody like that. You know, if, I, if I'm the governor, I... I can even throw a big party because the Southern Kaduna people have been seeing themselves as being marginalized completely. But this governor has been able to bring them closer, trying to push even projects even to the Southern Kaduna area and trying to bring, see how we can unite everybody and not so that everybody sees themselves as Kaduna people rather than I'm from Southern Kaduna or, I, or I'm from you know, one particular region or from, I, I, I actually worship one particular God and all. So this is a big one for the governor. And we are hoping to see how this is going to bring that major peace in Kaduna. And um, 
as the governor is also moving forward, I think this is also going to help him so that even his re-election, you know, he'll be able to, you know, beat his chest and say, yes, I can drive into Southern Canada and nothing will happen. So, I, so for me, uh, I commend um, Governor Sani. He has to keep doing what he's doing and which is trying to unite the Kaduna people in everywhere, whether you're in Southern or you're in Northern or wherever you are, you right. know, so that um, everybody will be happy. Emeka, six months down the line, in your opinion, how has the governor fared? Well, the governor is a breath of fresh air and he's a wise man. He's a wise man. He's a sensible and a reasonable man. Um, he's, a, he's a huge relief, a departure from the recent past, where efforts were deliberately made to, you know, stoke religious division. Unnaturally. Because I wonder what people even gain from. Faith is supposed to be a personal affair. But some people turn it into, they take it into politics, they take it to every corner, you know, they, 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 they feel a kind of religious triumphalism, you know, trying to force their own face down people's throats. And people are not interested in that because they have very pressing issues bothering them. So I think he has done well by, trying, by reaching out to the people of Southern Kaduna. I also think that um, the appointment of um, the chief of defense staff from that same zone was a pointer to him that there was no need to continue with the bitter, acrimonious politics of the past. There's no need being you know, engaged in acrimony with people over their religion. I mean, it's a personal thing. So I hope he will, be, he will continue on this path. He will continue to you know, pray to God for wisdom so that he can avoid the, 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 the fire, the cauldron. That religious division is he should just do his best unite everybody work with everybody and work for everybody and he will enjoy this for four years all right thank you gentlemen let's uh, move on quickly in the face of economic hardship in